Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again, experimenting with some live. Now, I already understand a few things that I need to do is, um, one, I want to be able to talk to you guys and know exactly who my subscribers are and who's on here. So, and I want to have better placement of my recorder device, which happens to be my cell phone. So I have to show this to you guys because I'm excited. Freshly cemented all the way around. So on this build, on Ed Lee Scallon's wheel, magnetic generator, just generator if you want to call it. Um, this one is special because it's now, I started it on this thing here. It's not strong enough to hold the weight of all this. So this is what I wanted to do in the very beginning, but I wanted to be authentic and run it on a motor block, which is what I have right here. I decided to take it wasn't, and I made the whole thing better, rounder, uh, Charged the magnets using my PMH, real strong, and I put them on a wheel hub. So and it turns pretty freely versus before resistance that's in that motor motor block. There is crazy. It's crazy. This is so much better. So, I had to have to show it off. You can see? Freshly cemented. It's not even dry yet. I was trying to do some live um, and, and just show you guys how to build this. And like I said, with this live thing, it's pretty cool. But... Basically, I, I want to be able to see, like, I guess I'll get my laptop. I want to see who's watching. Um, I want to be able to read comments, do live comments, and also have somebody call in. And we can talk and, 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 and go over stuff, too. And this would be awesome. So, you guys, leave your comments if you like this idea of how to do some videos. Um, if you're all about it and you want to call in, we could do a certain time of day. I will dedicate a little time every day to do this. If you guys were interested in it, leave your comment and we can just get into so many different projects. But right here, I'm excited, excited, excited because I got back into reading Ed Lee Scallon's Magnetic Current. And there's parts here that just, I dog-eared it. It just get, gets me going crazy. And he talks here about now about the generator. In the first place, all currents are all to get direct currents of any description are making currents by filling the core the coil's iron core with magnets and letting the iron core push them out. So here you go. Let's just talk about iron real and you got magnets isolated from the plate there and I got a mice this gear ring and I also have um I had my my subscribers out there which they say on my phone a little bit better so I can see who's who's on here watching live so yeah cool stuff huh guys it's almost like we're in the workshop together, and uh, I guess what I'd like to do is, is figure out how to have you call in. Call in your voice. We can talk. We can go over topics. So if you're in, you guys are in, just um, give me thumbs up, and I'll start working on that. So back to over the iron. Over here, I rounds are little readings on his patent now guys listen there's three patents u.s patents are tested
I got all three. Now ninety four is is so is the bingo one right now, and good or actually pipes going in the ground. All right, so it says reconnecting. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. I appreciate that comment. Um, go ahead and. Uh, start uh, having notifications sent out and stuff. That's why I was doing little tidbits today, but I was working on the wheel all day since eight in the morning. And I see that um, my connecting and reconnecting issues. And I'll tell you, if you're listening or watching, I'm, the magnets are so strong. They're not strong neodymium wise. But basically, they're strong. And, and the reason, if you watch my other videos and seeing that um, too hot, I said, let me do a quick test. And the quick test I took and I put it on there with the two and I pulled it off and checked the strength. I was like, okay, that's good strength. Then I packed another one and I got stronger. And I packed another one I got stronger and I packed another one I got stronger. I said, okay. Well, wait a minute. Let me get back in the Ed's book, and I realized vertical magnetic here. vertical. Do I need to back? So I get close to the to the wheel, and it says uh, reconnecting. So I don't know if you're watching this right now or if it's being paused on your side. Uh, shout out to Abrams Lab. Liked him starting to do this. If you guys don't watch him, watch him. He's a great soul, my boy uh, Ryan over at Abraham's Lab. So I was watching him do his, and it, to me it came in spotty. So I don't know if, if it's happening to me right now. But, um, so far I see I got three people watching. I got three thumbs up. Live at 7.14, live. They were, I guess we're running how many minutes we're going. Still says reconnecting. Don't like that. So I found nobody. So... <clears throat> all right guys we're back i don't know you know what i took myself off my house internet wi-fi because i think it's acting up today so back at the wheel i don't know where i left off with you guys what you guys seen but hopefully you enjoy the wheel this is a fresh new build ed's book got me excited um i don't know if you if you uh, heard me say about uh, originally I was building this um, two layers tall and I said to myself um, wasn't sure why Ed would do five and two things came out of that uh, one is that as the more I added in in height and stack the magnets the stronger the 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 force is on the, on the section so that's a major on number one so the magnets are stronger by layers, but also Ed created vertical lines. Now we're gonna talk about a few things right now. Um, you got vertical, so you got north, south, north, south. Let me see here, got our compass. Pardon my desk today, but uh, it's um, it's been busy. So you got south, north, south, north. And as you turn it, you can see You can see that um, everyone is the opposite. Now, these are vertical lines, okay, guys? So these are north-south, north-south vertical lines. So you go back to Ed's book. What got me fascinated and, and pulled back into this is that he says, now about the generator. In the first place, all currents are alternating. To get direct currents, you have to use a commutator. Transformers and generators, any description, are making the currents. Insulated from the rest of the world, Tommy. Insulated from anything that's uh, uh, a metallic. So these magnets are insulated from the metal on both sides of them. But that's not the key. The key is this. In magnetic tubes. That's what we're getting into. I like when you guys put stuff out there because I'll tell you, um, 
It really gets you thinking. So back to Ed's wheel. Um, now you and the field mag magnet are a generator. Suppose you had a wheel and many coils around the wheel turning. Then you would be making all kinds of light. Do not make this machine. I already have one. What's up, Josh, in the house? Already have one. I already have the application for a patent in the patent office. I made 10 different machines to make magnetic currents. But I found a combination. This is the important thing, guys. A combination between field magnets and coils. The most efficient. Okay? So let's do a whole study on everybody together. We're going to work through the process of this book in his wheel because I think a lot of the stuff he's talking about is related to the wheel. So um, the part that I wanted you to hear also in here is you made magnetic current three different ways, but in principle, they're all made exactly the same way. Magnetic currents are made of by concentrating and dividing and shifting the existing north and south pole individual magnets from one place to another. Now I'll illustrate how my best, now here's the important thing, guys. You ready? Ed says, now I will in the internet. So back. <clears throat> Boy, I hope, I hope, I hope I can get better with the internet because I get near the machine and it kills my internet. So guys, Josh. As far as the road coil, um, that's, yeah, that's a whole other topic, man. And that's uh, that's part of what I want to do with live streaming. Is I want to bring people in, have a call, have some road uh, coil uh, experts um, call in as well. And we'll talk about topics and bring it out there for the peeps of the garage world. So back to Ed's wheel, um, Ed talks about, let me step away from the machine. Ed talks about um, his best machine. And with him talking about his best, best machine, he says, uh, you made magnetic currents in three different ways, but in principle, they are all made exactly the same way. Magnetic currents are made by concentrating, dividing, and shifting the existing north and south pole individual magnets from one place to another. Now I will illustrate how my best machine is doing it. I will use only one coil and one U-shaped permanent magnet without using the winding that the machine uses to increase the permanent magnetic strength. What the hell are we talking about? He's talking about his number one machine. I assume it's this machine here. This is what he left. This is what he took a picture of. So he's saying he's able to increase the magnetic strength. And that's one thing about these magnets. Um, I did learn through the process of messing with them. Uh, if you wrap them up like a PMH and bang the PMH, well, you know, single wire, Tommy. Yeah, um, but you, with single wire, based on what gauge you use and what you voltage you bang it with, because um, things get hot quick. You look at coils. Um, you look at solenoids, and I've been messing with solenoids. Okay, so Tommy says that if we're going to move this thing in orbit, um, that would be the torque that I like to create within the wheel itself. I don't know if it could be done, but I can tell you right now, just the way the wheel sits the way it is right now, this PMH being two inches away from this, when I touch the PMH with 12 volts, the wheel pulls towards it. So I'm not having all that restriction I had before with the motor block. So now I'm excited because I can actually with low voltage and use the Tesla type of, of thinking saying, hey, we can take the PMH and we can move because let's go back to what Ed said in the beginning what I just read. And this is what I'm talking about why I'm implying. So he says now about the generator. And he says, I have already made this application. Yeah, knowing the, hey, Tommy, knowing the, uh, the kinetics of the energies that move it. Yeah, no, I agree. And, um, uh, here where he says now about the generator and where he says he made 10 different machines, 
he said right here, he says, but I found the combination between field magnets and coils the most efficient. So field magnets. Back here, he talks about field magnets. And one of his experiments is the field magnet. So the field magnet is could be the PMH. And that field magnet, just like Tesla's work on his uh, Tesla coil over there, he's bouncing, oscillating. And the bouncing, and he's hitting it at the right spot like, like he's pushing a kid on a swing. Well, with the movement of this guy, we could... You got that right, Tommy. More field magnets to make that bang, to get that wheel to turn. So it's just one way of turning it. And, you know, we're going to treat this wheel the most logical way. Because remember, um, we're not talking about levitation now. We're not talking about lifting edge rocks. We're not talking about any of that work. That work is separate. We're what is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The internet's killing me over here. Thanks for your compliment on the Doby. Come on, stop following me, big guy. He's a biggins. He's a blue. He's about six years old. His name is Vin St. Vincent. I have my boy Tommy leaving some comments. I wish I could leave the comments up. Let me see. So I got my phone on. I'm trying to do this live. And the comments pop up. By the time I look down from what I'm looking at to the comments. Hey, Tommy, I love your dogs. Got 16 year old Crocker, Spaniel Oscar. Hey, got to welcome Oscar in the house. Is Oscar in the room watching? All right. All right. Hey, Tommy. Josh. So, I don't know. I get close to the damn wheel and the damn internet goes off. So, we'll have to figure out how to work. I was saying, sometimes I get bored and I got to fire up my Tesla coil. And when I go in my workshop, I got so many different things, guys, that are magnetized that are messing my phone signal up. So I apologize. I don't know. Leave your comments. How is it on your side? Is it spotty? Does it reconnect, connect? Let me know. my fix for the moment. Oh, behind my router? Yeah, the thing is, I got two boys that are addicted and, and they're playing games online. So they're probably using up every ounce of energy that my internet can provide. So let me plug in my lights. 
how to get my little Tesla fix. All right, so bam. So back to the wheel. Guys, um, what do you think? Leave some comments. This thing needs to, um, I'm so excited because this thing needs to dry. Once it dries, I can put a PMH on it. I don't have to put it up real close and yank it. And then the other thing is too, with these magnets, they change their poles. They, they, they go bipolar as well. So we're gonna work through some of Ed's writings here and do some work and I'm excited. Excited, excited. I found the combination between field magnets and coils the most efficient. And then he starts talking about, you know, that pipe. In that pipe. Because over here, if you keep talking about, right here it says, it's now take the iron bar off. And when you get more of the light, it shows that if it is closed, some of the magnets which are on the iron prong ends will run out. The perpetual motion holder, if you put the positive and negative in motion, never stop. So what about the magnets never stopping? So what on this wheel could we work with on experimenting? Here's a nice picture of Ed with the wheel. And if you want to do a comparison there, you can see that I got this shit down. I'd see that bar that goes across there, this this iron bar in front of the wheel, that bar right there. That bar, and, and what Ed's saying on page 13 on magnetic current, So, Tommy, yeah, exactly. Um, in regards to your, your comments on the rings on top, um, that's how I feel, too, is about using, that's why they're insulated from each other. Now, so this ring here is not touching the magnets, and it's not touching this clover ring. This clover ring obviously is touching the lower metal plate. So the lower metal plate, say we ground. So that means this top clover would be grounded, and that means the um, bottom portion of these magnets would be ground. So it would be two grounds, but one has a little oscillatory uh, cycle about itself because of its shape. The other one ring here is freestanding. So this freestanding ring here would be like the PMH where perpetual motion never stops. So how do we charge that ring up? So charging this ring, uh, we could say that each one of these magnets are a coil because that's what he's saying the difference between a magnetic coil and a field magnet is just the same because except for one's held inside of it's because of the energy trapped in the magnet so uh yeah leave your comments leave your comments um you can see that i got these magnets really strong this this is heavy stuff that's a heavy piece of So the bottom being the bottom of the, the ring, I guess we're talking about, right? So. And then another thing is I read one of Tesla's patents. And in his patent. Yeah, so Tommy, I like your, and Josh, I like your comment. So, yeah, so by the wheel moving, those um, poles should be changing in the Vs. And by changing the poles in the Vs, that means that the poles in the rings would be changing. And, uh, yeah, I don't know about the government. We don't want them on our ass yet, but uh, I guess they got enough to keep busy with. Um, I know you said government, Josh. <laughs> yeah.
um, UFO shit. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, the energy in the V-shaped magnets. And he's got them running all vertical right now. And that means there's straight lines of force running up and down like a vertical. Cool beans, huh? So you guys like this uh, live channel thing going? What do you think we should do it? Um, a set time or should I do it just sporadically? Yeah, the V is in the ring. Now remember, the bottom plate's connected to the top. The freestanding, free space right now, virtual ground, if you want to call it, um, is that middle one, the ring. What we could do is not connect the plate, the bottom to ground, and have it virtual to where the will find their own domain uh, like the motor block to like a virtual ground is, is the red thing so be um, could be bipolar because I guess as the V's change Yes, you can take the, the poles out of those V magnets. So, but you have to use the PMH that would be moving the wheel and putting it in motion. And what I like to do is take that power that it takes to have the wheel turn and put a measurement to it. Because what I want to do is, hey, you want it chasing its tail. Yeah, you want it. You want that consumption to be around the back EMF, and that—that's I would call that the tail end, the snake, the snake's tail, the tail end, the back EMF, and that's what I was saying. Is this wheel is turning freely a lot better than it did? It won't take much energy once you get it wheel that it had designed. One thing I notice is that the wheel, well, the phone keeps going in and out every time I get close to it. So, or strong on top of. So, guys, hopefully you uh, like automatically uh, when I pop up another video, I'll live stream, and I just want you guys to see this part because next time you see this, I'll have the PMH already mounted, and we'll have that hooked up to a relay and I have uh, some glass reed switches we'll just use run reed switch coming off of when that pole hits the reed switch it'll make the contact which contacts the the solenoid the solenoid will fire up the PMH the PMH will detonate then it will go off what I want to do is capture the back EMF off of the detonation of the PMH and I want to capture that into a capacitor bank. And we'll get into different parts of, of Ed has in his workshop. He's got capacitors. He's got one in front of the other. He's got the pipe sitting there. He's got, he's got the wheel. He's got a lot of magnets. And he talks about so many different things. So I like to incorporate a lot of his book and different books and things that he talk, talks about into um the energy so i guess this is a good illustration to to show you guys um you know it means to anybody okay have i ever compared ed's wheel to stonehenge well i would say stonehenge I have tried to see if okay, yeah, they are. Um, 
Some of the stones are at the edge of the shape are similar. And and I've, I've tried to find if I can see any of the Germans had this wheel. And that's the key thing to go back in Europe and see if this wheel pops up there. But um, it hasn't yet. So with Stonehenge, if I think with this wheel here, you're more so trying to learn in a different way about the fundamentals of the energy and how electricity, just by turning the wheel with right coils in place, could do different things and how you could uh, build and, and, and then store and then separate and then move. So this here with the wheel would be um, would be that learning for everybody, which to me is still fascinating. I don't know how much you guys heard or missed by bounced offline again, but that bar that runs across the top, it's the reaction uh, between the iron and the magnets. So there, the wheel is your magnets, the iron is reacting to the magnets. And if you were to put a coil across that bar, a couple, a lot of the coming off each side of this bar right here. That bar, put a coil there and a coil there, and it's the reaction between the magnets and, and the iron of that core. And the center part of that core has also got something inside this little metal box, which, which from there is a whole nother Topic that he's got going there, that, which threw me off for years. But it's more about taking the energy, creating it. What's up, Jay Z in the house? Um, the J hook, you know, the J hook, you know, is is a good question, Jay Z. Uh, any hey, guys want to leave your comments? Jay-Z Jay asked in a comment just now about the J-hook. What's up with that? And obviously the J-hook is to the... I'm trying to stay away from the wheel. There's that J-hook he speaks about. But notice it's reference to the handle. Okay? Now, look at that chain look how it's bound up to itself like it's magnetized okay and then look how thick that chain is then look around the chain that's around there that's not thick chain that's thin chain there's another th chain that's right there that's thin that's thick right there and that's bound up so that is connected to that chain wise and then go down over here look at that there's that other somewhat of a hook from the hoist right there is a capacitor sitting on top of the pipe and then there's a ring on the back side of that cap pipe so there's another capacitor i think he has dueling capacitors look at the chain along the bike right here it's not thick but look at the chain that comes off the bottom looks like one's fat and thick and the other one's lesser of a chain and then right there's a wire that comes up and goes to the capacitor so you guys reading tommy's comments right there um he's he's inviting more iron because in in magnetic current he, he's telling us that it's the the buildup of the energy in the iron, of concentrating the magnets. So the more iron he has, the more concentration of energy he has, which is magnets. The more magnets he has of concentration, the more electricity you would be able to have. You guys agree? Leave your comments. So this, this live streaming is awesome, but I'm also having a problem with the internet connection. Maybe I will buy another internet box and put it in my workshop so I got direct. Um, 
All right, so Tommy had a good comment about the donut. So basically, you need an arc. And, you know, there's your concentration and there's your capacitance that could be built up in there. And if you go back to this magnetic current, he talks about that pipe with a flange, a ring on the top. The ring's right there. The pipe's right there. And on the wall, he's got a long coil that possibly goes down that pipe. What the hell would he do with it? Well... That could be his spring. Yeah, I like that comment, Tommy. Orbiting energy through the center of the wheel, a big giant PMH. Well, yeah. Um, think about what happens when the cloud puts, puts electrostatic, how many feet, you know, up there above ground and the ground's responding and the ground saying oh no the energy is normally negative right here at the surface is now going to be positive because it's attracted to the bottom side of that cloud and the bottom side of that cloud would actually be um you know would be dictating what the ground surface is going to be so the cloud dictates exactly the charge of the ground and, and that's why when the cloud's not there the ground's pre predominantly negative and when the cloud's present, if it has a, a undercarriage charge of positive, negative stay on the ground, but usually they're flipped over. And they can be either or, but usually they're flipped over. So the bottom side is going to be negative, repels the negative at the ground, the positive appears, and then you got positive energy in the ground, and usually the air is the positive energy. So, um, yeah, man. Um, hitting it live. Here we are live in St. Augustine, Florida. Got my boy Vinny hanging out. He's all about the all about hunting down something in the backyard. Uh, so let's Jay Z mentioned something about did Ed know the earth was flat? And I believe he did. You know why? Because if you look at a donut and the compression of the donut, of that energy, before it becomes a donut, is flat. It's a disc, like a CD or DVD disc. And then as the mass builds, the donut stretches. As donut stretches, now you have a stretch straight line. A horizontal line of force, east and west almost, which is stretched out, which becomes a circle. That's my theory on what people would say flat earth or flat universe or flat. It has to be flat. It's a disk. Yeah, it'll just keep pumping, Tommy. Yep, it'll just keep on pumping. And... You get you get that disc turning and then it's just stretching out, banding out. So, like I can't even get too close to the wheel right now. So, hopefully you like the comments, you like the live stream and tell friends. Um, I'm liking it myself, you know. Uh, it's uh, been a long journey in this garage. But I need better handling and better, like I, I want to hook up my cell phone so it's on my head. So you're actually seeing everything I'm looking at because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm holding the phone in front of me. But that would be cool too, like off my chest because everything I'm looking at, you're looking at. It's a good comment, Tommy. One thing I do know is that this amp, and I have this thing set. I measured it and beat it down and maneuvered it around. It's it's perfect. I can't wait to, and the strength on it's good. And it ain't about the strength because it talks Hey, Jay-Z, thank you, man. I 
just my internet just went off again. So I don't know. I stopped talking because if it says reconnecting, I think you're not hearing it. So I don't really know yet. So I guess what I'll do is uh, this YouTube thing will, when we're done live streaming, it will take what we live stream and then it'll upload it as a video. And I'll get to watch the video and then I'll get to be able to see what the hell is going on on my end. So if there's no breaks and you see the whole thing, then that is cool too. That means uh, live streaming is being downloaded and it's not coming live. It's coming through a filtered system. And if the internet goes down and reconnects that the filter keeps it going a steadiness. And that might be why you guys don't see the breaks. But I'll know then and I'll make this better as well. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, grounds. Um, high potential, um, capacitance, um, the ground's exciting too, because the only thing I found that motivates the ground is a freaking cloud. So that tells me the only thing that in energies that we're talking about, um, the only energy that I need to be focusing on hitting the damn pipe in the ground would be the electrostatic. So if I want the ground, uh, uh, if I put an underground system in, like Tesla's Warden Cliff, you guys, I got the cliff. It's got uh, a part of Tesla's um, uh, uh, patent from something that's incomplete, and it shows an underground uh, uh, system. And the system I speak about is a system that um, is is superconductor superconductive so um uh, we're talking uh real cold like nitrogen cold so we're talking if you were to run a uh, uh a power supply pipe a um a air gap and then a water pipe at the water would be basically liquid nitrogen in a pipe, so it wouldn't really be water, be uh, uh, liquid nitrogen. We would develop a capacitance in between those three, between the power supply, the air would have the capacitance in the space between. Now, these pipes were all will be, be three pipes. One is the liquid nitrogen pipe, one is the air pipe, and one is the power pipe. And they're all going to be in conductors of copper. Now, this will create a super conductive energy around the apparatus in the ground. Yeah, and Tommy, you're right. It, it, it'd be such super co capacitance and super conductive in the ground that I believe that it, it, if you could allow in this patent it shows the pipe coming from the ground system say if that's the grounding system right there it goes out legs and that, it's similar to what tesla has in his patent he has it coming up and going into the top load a quarter of the way and then looping back down and the bottom he has a pump like a donut like a pump and he's pumping this um energy from the ground and it's being woof, pumped into the top load Put a car radiator in the ground. So, um, so by making a mini version of that, is that whatever I put in the ground? If you put a piece of, uh, 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 say, rebar, it's it's iron. It's not that great conductive. If you put a piece of copper or aluminum, copper is better uh, 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 conductive than aluminum. But aluminum's good too. But if you put aluminum in a in in a, is a tube and ran nitrous liquid uh, nitrous through it you now make a real cold presence and that aluminum becomes a super conductive now you what you need to do is create a capacitance because you need not only next to it another aluminum or copper rod that has air flowing through it that's the key thing is air 
is the airspace for the dielectric and then also the space of the power, like the power lines, the, the positive and negative. And they're going to be two sides of that um, um, service line that's going to allow that situation to happen. And you're making super conductive. So if you look at how the cloud um, reacts, how the ground reacts to the cloud, then basically you would uh, say, okay, that's the energy we need. And that's why I'm thinking that that electrostatic will allow the ground to at the surface of the super capacitor, or the super uh, um, uh, conductor would put that energy there that you're requesting. And this can all be done electronically with a computer and mechanically with stuff that would be able to handle the amperage that would come from the ground. And that's the other thing we'll have to dig into and don't want to kill myself over this, but truthfully, I'm more afraid of unleashing the, the sleeping giant of the ground than I am messing with a Tesla coil and sparky dews in the air because it's the ground that has the current. It's that kinetic energy. The air is just a positive high voltage without the amperage kind of thing. What's up, JC? What's that, Josh? What kind of page? What kind of Josh? Hey, Josh, what kind of page are you talking about there? Fresh my memory on that one. So I'm down. I got to do a clean out. Let me go and point out a little bit here. Yep, burst. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Um, no, I always feel guilty. People pay for my work. No, I don't know about that. I think I'm doing all right. Even if I had more money, what the hell more would I do? I still got to work. I still got to pay my bills. Still got to keep the family thing going. And then I get me time. And me time, I only can plug away. I guess more money would mean what? Nah. And it's not about the money here. But good idea. A patronage page is what you're talking about. Like, no, we don't need to go fund me or anything. You know what? Because the end game here, it's not penciled in yet. The end game's not penciled in. Oh, full-time gig. Hey, Josh. Yeah, yeah. My wife wouldn't like that. She cringes when I say I had off the last two days. So she cringes when I tell I got off. She's looking at me, paintbrush and paint can and says, uh, so, you know, that's been two years. You haven't painted it yet. So, you know, I got to, I got to, it's a, I got to watch where I walk. It's like a ice skating rink. I don't know if uh, you're married or not, but yeah, the honeydew list gets big when you stay home. But, Ah, it just gives me something to do. Yeah, Tommy, you can uh, melt some damn, you can do some damn welding with the car battery. I just charged that one battery. The one in the back died, and it's been beat down so much for four years. It should have died a long time ago. But I also melted this damn Variac, so it's, it's trash. It's just taking up space right now. It's a shame. It's a lot of good copper on here, but you can't take it apart. Can't do anything with that. I don't know what to do. Down Variac. Um, Whoever just texts, you just text again. Look at the phone because if I'm carrying something. 
Bye, Josh. I sure will. What's up, Vinny? Look at Vinny in the house. Where's the bad ones? Watch them. Bad ones out there. You want to hurt the dad. So as my thing dries up here, I wheel off a little bit. It's still, still soft. I guess by tomorrow, it's going to be rock hard. These magnets are down and bolts. These magnets were still moving. So you, I can see why Ed needed, needed cement. He's got to keep them things tight, especially if you're going to be uh, – turning this i don't think this thing is a fast moving wheel but um who knows the way i have it set up right now on the wheel baron uh wheels turn fast right so the wheel baron should be able to spin 